So, hey guys, welcome to Comic Gaming. If you're new, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the little bell. Comment below. Hit the like button and maybe even share with your friends. Good job. We have cookies. And milk. Might be semen, I'm not sure. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Hi guys, welcome back to Comic Again. I'm Shannon, and on today's back issue review, I'm going to be reviewing Stan Lee's The Traveler. This was done by Stan Lee, Mark Wade, and Chad Harden. It comes from Boom Comics, and today I'll be reviewing issues one and two. I thought this was a pretty good read. It was pretty original. It was almost kind of what you would expect if the Doctor from Doctor Who were a superhero not really one of stanley's finest characters but a lot better than his late 90s early 2000s characters this revolves around the traveler who goes by the name cronus he can manipulate time he can freeze it slow it down speed it up and he has to save these people from the split second men the split second men all three of them have different powers and they can travel through the seconds of time. But the Traveler has to save these three different people who are pretty much in the wrong place at the wrong time. Only they're no John McClane. One of them is a detective by the name of Julia Martin. It's kind of hinted at that Cronus is her boyfriend, fiance, husband. I'm not sure what they are, but it's kind of hinted at that Cronus is him from the future. Anytime he takes his mask off, it only shows like the back of his head or the side with his hands covering his face. So can't really be certain. When he does take his mask off, he does have kind of a white hair. It is revealed in issue two that her significant other is working with her father and his business partner to create something that would actually manipulate time and matter like this. So it's not really revealed in these two issues why the split second men are after these specific three people. Um, one of them is a lady who is running late for work. Um, she just bought a new pair of glasses and for some reason Cronus has to break her glasses. It's not really revealed why. The second person he helps is a public transit bus driver. He saves him from a uh, one of the split-second men whose name is Splinter. He can decay matter. What's funny is, in the middle of saving the bus driver, the traveler says to the driver, Do you know why Splinter was able to grab and disintegrate your bus, the 1015? To which the driver kind of responds a little bewildered and frightened. N no. Traveler then turns to the driver and grabs him by the jacket, getting right in his face, and exclaims, Because it's now 1022, and being seven minutes late put you in the wrong place at the wrong time. That'll teach you, you never gonna, you ever going to be late again? Uh, obviously, the driver hesitantly and uh, kind of startled says, No, I swear... But once they get up out of the sewers, the Traveler comes face to face with two detectives, one of them being Julia Martin, and he ends up saving her because Splinter is, he sees a vision of the future, a few seconds into the future, where Splinter puts his hand straight through Julia's chest and you know, decays her entire body. And in issue two, it's revealed that this, of course, was just him seeing into the future a few seconds. And he moves her by altering her temporal position in, by what he calls chronoporting. Uh, basically burrowing around the, a few seconds. There's also a scene where Kronos quickly uses his powers to pull a man who looks a lot like Stan Lee from his car and then hurl the car at Splinter, knocking him unconscious. Um, 
that's all I'm really going to say about these two. These aren't really standalone comics. It's not like you can just pick up one issue and, you know, be caught up or anything. You've got to really start from the beginning and work your... <clears throat> excuse me, I'm losing my voice. Work your way through all the issues. I've got one and two so far. I've also got... <clears throat> Number five, number ten. So I'm gonna have to get the others to really find out what's actually going on. Um, it was, however, a pretty good read. Like I said, it is. It isn't really Stanley's best work, but it's a lot better than the heroes he created back in the late '90s, early 2000s when they went straight to VHS. So overall, I'll give it a 7 out of 10. It's published by Boom Studios and was released in 2010. So if uh, you're at your local comic book shop, chances are these will be in the dollar bin. Spend a dollar, a couple dollars, get a few issues, you know, and uh, give it a chance. I think you might enjoy it. So uh, until next time, guys, take care. If you like this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the like, comment below, and share with your friends. <laughs> I hate you.